Hey everybody, welcome back to a brand new episode of First Impressions here at Marauder. I'm Matt, and today we're checking out the game Warborn, which seems like sort of a tactical strategy with like real-time uh, strategy elements. Um, it also has like a very cool 90s cartoon sort of aesthetic and art style to it that I'm pretty excited to see how that all shakes out. Um, I know nothing about the game. As you know, my First Impressions videos are meant to be me opening the box, checking out the game for the very first time. Uh, so you don't have to before spending your hard-earned money on it and deciding whether or not you want to jump in. So that's the idea of this, and I'll be learning as I go. I'm an idiot and suck at these games, so you can laugh at me along the way. Let's go ahead and launch the campaign. We'll do a new game. And here we are. I love the art. It reminds me of like the Transformers game. I mean, obviously. All right, we have orders from our commander. Our objective is to capture the nearby Eonite refinery. Nomad needs that fuel, so we need to capture this. When they say nearby, they mean it. Keep communications at a minimum. We're aiming to get what we need without being detected by the Sanctum's forces. <clears throat> All right, let's move. So I'm gonna assume we have a bit of a tutorial. So it's our turn. Use Havoc or Novus's uh, capture skill to capture the Eonite refinery structure. And then the defeat conditions, there aren't any, so apparently I can't fail. You can review mission objectives and failure conditions by opening the commander menu and selecting the intel option. I'm going to turn up the menu just a, uh, the music just a bit because it's so good. I hope it's not too loud for you at the moment. But Alright. I just made myself paranoid that the music's too loud. So I'm going to actually go ahead and take it back down a bit. Right there seems fine. Sorry if it, it was like you were like, yeah, that was perfect and great. I can't check it on the fly. So anyway. All right. So we're going to click here. I'm not sure how I determined which one of these folks I am. I don't want to intern. I guess she just gets to go first. Intel. Okay, it's our victory conditions. I'll say close. Okay, so this is this is these are my different folks. So moving units, selecting a unit, uh, and choosing a move option. So it's kind of like uh, Sokami. Select a valid tile within the range and move it to that location. Pressing the cancel button after the move is completed will cancel the move and revert the unit back to its previous position. Outposts and ionite refinery structures can be captured by units with the capture skill. Neutral structures will be captured immediately, while enemy-owned structures must first be overridden before they can be captured. When attempting to capture a structure, the, com the capture command will change to override. Overriding an enemy-owned structure will allow it to be captured by the ally units following the or on the following turn. Okay, so these I guess would be like our attack, but in this case, we want to move so that we can capture. Now, that must have been neutral because it did it immediately. <coughs> We've got baddies. Okay. So, really, in military, we'll have to fight them off. So far, this kind of has a mixture of um, not just like a an XCOM or Mario Rabbids, um, you know, but it also reminds me of... Um, oh, man, why can't I recall the name of that game right now? It was like a little tiny board like grid game all sort of sci-fi with like almost like starcraft type enemies um and you would like it was like two years ago it was an awesome game why it's gonna drive me nuts i keep wanting to say faster than light and i can't get it out of my mind but that's not it Whatever. I don't want to get, like, lost in it in my mind. Destroy all enemy units. And it's the current turn. Well, do I need to do that? Because these folks haven't moved. So I want to get them in position. Can I do that from here? No. How do I undo... 
Okay, a, a right click. Disintegrate armor, can't do that. You'll wait. I'm gonna move you as well. I might just be putting them in range to get attacked. Alright, so now it's their turn. Alright, they're all just moving up. It's funny to just watch them all just kind of like run and charge me. Alright. Commander, we've secured the objective, but the Cerulean military are on to us. Okay, fair enough. How do I... They're surrounded, uh, they have a surrounded outgun. I'm requesting immediate support. Damn it, they're already scrambling our communications. Okay. Oh, that guy looks badass. He reminds me of Barrett. So, so far, it seems like they've just dropped us straight into, like, the equivalent of a tutorial, which makes perfect sense. Um, I feel like... I'm gonna be into it so far. I mean, like, I'm not the best at some of these, like, tactical, you know, like, old-school, you know, turn-based games. But I always enjoy them. They're kind of, they kind of have like a puzzle element to them. So anyway, well, our ground team is completely surrounded. I can't get rid of them. The Israeli military must be jamming our communications. Click, click, click. Let's see. Our subsystem is online. Weapon check. Well, where are you? It's time to suit up. The, I love the art. I really do. I think it looks really cool. Way ahead of you, Sam. Already prepping for deployment. Launching the deity. Whoa. Look at that thing. That's what we've been looking for. Looks like I got here just in time. Are you guys okay? So is she going to be our protagonist? Doing a lot better now that Nomad's ace pilot is here. <laughs> Alright, dogs of the arist aristocracy. Let's see what you've got. Uh, Into the Breach is the game I couldn't think of earlier, by the way. The, like, tiny contained map where it's, like, sort of isometric and everything drops off from the side. You can't really, like, see beyond the, the map of where you're playing. And it's just, like, tiles. Almost like a board game. Alright. So, using unit skills. Selecting an allied unit and choosing a skill will show the range of the possible targets for that skill. Selecting a valid target within displayed skill range will use skill on the target. Skills with a range of self or used immediately without a range display. <clears throat> so I guess they use that on themselves. Each unit has a kinetic energy and explosive defense rating which correspond with the matching damage types. The higher the rating, the more resistant the unit is to that particular type of damage. Defense ratings are affected by certain status effects and terrain. Damage comes in three types. As we discussed previously, when using an attack skill, the damage type will determine which defense rating the target will use. Use a damage type which matches the target's lowest defense rating to deal the most damage. Well, that makes a heck of a lot of sense, doesn't it? Now, precision rail rifle or twin energy cannons. Neither can be used yet. However, I feel like I could move in a range of this here fella. And then, can I see this enemies? I guess I'll have to wait to see. So I'm going to try precision rifle. Oh, what is this? <laughs> you can only aim in a straight line. Can I undo that move? Yes. Okay. Let's try this again. Move. Now if I go to here, my cannon just seems like it should be able to work. So this unit has a weak defense of electric and whatever that explosion well really everything is bad so now can it hit both at once now of mine this is i mean they're all the same really range one two one five inflicts weakened for one turn and deals medium energy damage extreme kinetic okay let's go it's crazy it can pierce them both Okay, so that does work like that. That's pretty badass. Alright, my next unit. Let's go ahead and move. I need to get some people over ready to attack these guys. I don't think... Yeah. Nope, nothing there either. You're gonna wait. 
you're also going to move out into position. <clears throat> and you're going to wait. And you're going to go support our ace pilot. And you're going to wait. Now it looks like we're ready to get hit though. Your movement's pretty weak. Okay. Let's hope they don't choose to attack the same guy. <laughs> Oh, my ace pilot's getting shot. No, not yet. Okay. No, I honestly just want to see how these guys do. Grenade launcher. Okay, well, let's see. So we have energy or... I can't remember what the explosive type is. Oh, explosive. Light explosive. Medium kinetic. So hopefully they're weak to kinetic. Indeed. Kapow, you're dead. Oh, these guys are super weak. <laughs> All right. Let's try grenades. Oh, it projects the amount of damage you'll do. I'm an idiot. Now, for the purposes of taking someone off my map, I may try to move him here just to support. Use the heavy cannon. Can't. Disintegrate armor. Can't. So I'm going to undo that. I'm going to try again. I'm assuming he can't shoot through the mountain, but I always want to check. Nope, so we won't do that. All right, well, they just might be SOL. I'm going to move you up before I forget. Are you the last up here? Yeah, okay. Let's just go ahead and have you definitely finish this dude off. And that'll be that. This art of, like, Transformers meets, like, sort of a 90s anime, I, I freaking love it. And then you're just sort of my lost puppy. I'm going to move you over here to support. Basically just to put you in range to get shot at. Because you're not helpful. I'm holding down the speed up button, which is nice that we have. It sucks I'm going to lose a unit. Well, that had a status effect. wonder why they're not... going through there. Alright, I have some options here. Dude here is pretty weak. I just want to see if I can get anyone far enough to go do any damage to this guy. <clears throat> Doing it. He'll probably get finished off by him later, but that's fine. Can you make it far enough to do any damage? I'm going to assume you cannot. Nope. So my best dude has to wait. You can be finished by basically nothing. So I'm actually going to put you here. Doesn't seem like there's any negative effect to any of these. Am I too close for that? Must be. I'm gonna try that. Just finish that dude off with a grenade launcher, so I'm taking somebody off the battlefield at least. And then I could probably have this guy take a step back, assuming that was the issue. And it seems like it was. Nice. I think that's it for our turn, right? And it just leaves two guys left. This guy's finished. I wish that we were blue. It's a little weird that the enemy is blue. We lost our first guy. Alright. Well, let's teach him a lesson, shall we? We're going to have you kill him. And then we're going to have our ace pilot, I can't remember her name, Luella, step out and toast this guy. And that should be that for at least that objective, if not this particular little mission. There we go. Right? 
rank five. So you you get like I guess I don't know if you get experience based on how you perform or what the ranks mean, but good to have you in the deity back in one piece. Back in one piece and full of fuel, thanks to that ionite refinery we captured. You handled yourselves well out there. I've watched you become formidable vari va variable armor pilot. VA pilot, I assume. My dusk enhancements helped. Dang, everybody's like so nice. <laughs> Look how sad she is, though. If they were still with us, I'm not sure what your parents would think of you working with me as a mercenary. I never got to know them, so I don't know what they think of my choices. Everything I know about them, I learned from you. It's not the life Lauren and Guard wanted for you, but I know they they know you've made your decision. Something like that. Listen, I want you to take command of the Nomad for this next mission. Show me what you've learned as a commander. I've sent the details to your terminal. When you're ready, join me in the briefing room and we'll get started. Okay. So, similarly, I think to Into the Breach too, it seems like maybe we'll get to choose our path in a way. So what does this mean? Dusk Overdrive. Uh, allied skills with a max range of one greater... So that just seems automatic. Okay, I thought I had to choose it. That's an S rank on that mission, I guess. So now we're on our first one. Loella takes on the role of commander for the first time and responds to a request to help defend a city. Let's launch, baby. We'll make this our last one if we can win. The mission comes directly from Lifeline. They've hired us to protect their members in City 88 and fight off an incoming Sanctum Strike team. Lifeline. They're one of the last resistance factions still denouncing the aristoc aristocracy. If it's not the word aristocrat, I can't say it. Ar aristocracy. <laughs> Goodness. They want to replace the sanctum with the democratic government uh, with the with a democratic world government similar to the Mythalis space colonies. Definitely not something the sanctum will tolerate. Then they believe only the wealthy elite should rule and don't care what people want. Yes, and they'll use force to silence any voices that disagree. A Sanctum strike team is en route to round up members of Lifeline operating within City 88. Intel suggests that the VAs will be advancing from two locations in the west, so the roads. Our forces will be arriving at City 88 from the east, so right here. I'll be on hand to advise you, but we won't have long to prepare. I'm ready, let's do it. Okay, so we got to basically protect the city. <laughs> All right. They've given us an outpost. We can use that to call in additional troops from Vagrant. Select our outpost structure and deploy a Havoc to it from the deployment menu. Outpost structures can be captured by any variable armor unit with the capture skill. We know. Selecting an outpost owned by your commander will display the deployment options, allowing you to deploy additional variable armor units to the battlefield. Outpost can only deploy a single unit per turn and cannot be selected if the tile is occupied. Okay, so we have to select it to deploy it. All right, you can review mission objectives and failure conditions by opening the commander menu and selecting the Intel, the Intel option. <clears throat> All right. Let's see. Havoc, deploy. So one per turn, but not while occupied. Excellent, we've got a strong position here. These buildings will slow troop movement, but provide significant cover from enemy attacks. Lifeline has already evacuated the civilians, so use them to your advantage. The rest of our initial response team is arriving now. I like how ever since Man of Steel, everyone's concerned about making sure it's clear no one's dying in cities. So if we lose all our units, we lose. If we kill all them, we win. Seems like a fair, fair way to go with the war. <coughs> with the war. All right.
Temporarily boosting the defense ratings of unit occupying that tile. Well, where did these guys pop up from? Keep in mind that pulling reinforcements to an outpost costs strategy points. Captured ionite refineries generate SP at the beginning of each turn. I'd recommend sending a Havoc to capture this refinery to ensure a steady income of SP. Okay, I'm leaving the rest up to you. Show me what you've learned. Yep. We heard. They're expended to call in reinforcements at capture. I'm sure in other things too over time. But. Now the thing I wish I would understand is like how often enemies will be added. Like I don't want to deploy to fight people if I come to find like it won't always be possible to do so. Or that like too many enemies will be coming. Okay, we now have a source. Cost 20 SP, which I don't, oops, which I don't have at the moment. Where is my SP here? Zero, probably because I just deployed one. So hopefully we can deploy one later. So what I'm going to do, what are your moves? So he'll probably have some range. I'll go ahead and get him out to here. I'll double check. I can't do anything. Always worth checking. We're going to do the same here. Aim assist for one turn on a single ally. We don't need that yet. Oh, I didn't. I didn't actually move you because I undid it. And you're a little more mobile, which is fine. Just putting you up to get shot at, probably. But might actually move him one fewer spot just to ensure or give me a better chance at his safety but we'll see he can probably run up and get in the line of sight anyway that's tough right to the old noggin gonna happen again and again Probably should have left him in the city. <laughs> Wonder if I can restart. Yep, we need to restart this one. Can we recover from the horrific start we just had? Uh, it only I'm gonna have to wait another turn before I can get someone. But I can at least hide him in the city. <laughs> I guess I should have hid them in there. That was the the thing I didn't really pay attention to. move further than that? No. If I move you here, can you at least do damage? Nope. Very limited movement range. I guess I'll wait and keep you in the city. Your range could be such that I could put you here. Try this. 
That'll kill him. That's what I should have done from the start. We may be able to save this. Can I put you in the city and attack you? I think I'm going to just do that for protection. I guess that helped. It just buffs the amount of damage I take. Or debuffs, I should say. Still feels like I'm taking a lot of damage. But we should at least be able to call in a reinforcement here. Oh, but now he's hitting. That's tough break. But the survivability mattered there. Alright, now we're gonna call in our our new our new havoc. That should help. Alright, where's my sniper? I'm gonna have you finish off actually if I move you to here. Can you finish off this dude? Yes, even though he's in the city, that's what I want. Your newly deployed person can't help, that's interesting. I'm gonna move you to here. We're gonna do a grenade launcher. Or whatever it wasn't <laughs> grenade launcher. Uh If I move you to here, I'm just curious. Can I can I kill you? I can. I, I'm doing it. It's worth it. I just want to get rid of the troop because it's our ultimate goal. They'll probably come storm him, but that's okay. Night night. He was our ultimate sacrifice. I'm sure he was real pleased with my orders. Man, this really does remind me of Into the Breach, which was such a great game. Alright, I could probably about to say precision strike that guy from here. Pop. And then hopefully our three Havocs up here, or two I guess because one died. <laughs> Rip. Uh, can finish the job here. Alright, so the Havoc Rifle is still my best bet. Now, I don't know if moving you anywhere where you could... ...not get hurt is smart, so I'm just gonna get a little bit of damage from in there. Keep us covered from the buildings. And it looks like we might get away with this one unless they deploy more. I don't know if there's any indication if they'll ever deploy more enemies. But we at least don't have that right now. Alright, y'all. Might as well do this just in case. Because <laughs> we don't know what will happen. So despite a horrific start, we're going to get away from this one. Now, is that a mission complete? Or more coming? Oh, apparently he has like one HP left. Two! the magic pixel. Good night. For real this time though. And mission complete. So I feel like you've got a basic taste of like what the mission, you know, missions look like here in Warborn. Um, again, I'd like to point out, uh, this game is out right now on Steam. It's been a lot of fun to check out, especially if you're into the like, you know, that sort of tactical strategy game, you know, games like Fire Emblem or, uh, like I said, Into the Breach or XCOM, uh, anything like that. Um, this one came from Rare Drop Games Limited and PQ Limited. Uh, so be sure to check it out. It's on Steam right now, like I said, uh, on sale right now, down from 25 bucks to 19.99. dollars uh, Positive reviews. I mean, people who like this genre, I think this is going to be a game worth checking out. Um, 
Again, Warborn out now. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit the like button. It helps out a lot. If you want to see more, uh, subscribe. I've got new stuff all the time. I'd love to have you around. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again next time.